We should do our channel on rocking chairs somehow. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rexy. It's of course. I'm Rick. <laughs> and you can follow us on Instagram. I'm on Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon for the account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Bang! Hey, Patreon. See you tomorrow. Uh, oh, yeah. You're doing a little live on Patreon, right? I am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but today, little <sighs> children, we're doing a movie review of the not so anticipated film. Uh, yep. P- PS1, or how would you say that? I will butcher it. Okay. Um, like everybody's names and the cities and the towns and the characters, I would try to pronounce it Pony and Sullivan. Uh, part one. Uh, yeah. Obviously, the uh, historical epic based off the book, uh, yep. the t- Tamil book, uh, directed fact, by Mani Ratnam. Uh, yep. Written, the screenplay was written by Mani Ratnam, produced by Mani Ratnam, composed by Arnan by A.R. Rahman. Um, yeah. And uh, Rick started reading it, but he only got a little little through, right? Yeah. There they are. Oh, nice. Oh, they're all There's colorful, the too. Yeah. Nice. Um, but uh, And if you're wondering why we're, we're Skyping right now, I'm out of town right now. Um, and so uh, that's why we're having to do Skype. Yeah. Uh, so just, just know that. But obviously, this is a new film. Uh, and so we're going to do mostly non-spoiler reviews. And then if we want to get into the spoilers, there's a lot going on in this, these films, um, as we predicted. Uh, and so uh, when whenever we get to spoils, we will let you know beforehand. Um, but uh, just you've been warned. So this will be mostly non-spoiler. But Rick, your initial thoughts of PS1, sir. A couple of days ago, Andrani and I went to go see the uh, movie The Woman King because there's been a lot of Oscar buzz oh, nice. about that. And uh, one of the things about that was we we felt like a lot of the production design and the costuming just, just it looked like it had just been made manufactured. It didn't uh, we didn't feel like we were in the era and in the place because it just everything looked so fresh and looked so clean. Yeah. Um. That it never really made us believe we were in the time and in the place. The exact opposite is true for this movie. And basically, anybody who wants to know how to frame a shot use uh frames per second how to use a jib or a stationary shot or a pov this is a master class in cinematography and directing and ultimately we can get into the details Indrani and i both saw it together and we both really really liked this movie a lot yeah i i did as well uh, it's one of yep. actually a especially in indian cinema i'd put it already in the top three films coming yep. out coming out of india this year uh, yeah, in fact, in fact, I, when we were driving in the car, I said, you know, as much as I enjoyed Brahmastra and it is really a entertainer and it's much lighter fare, as it were, uh, we just as a whole, uh, this one for us is meatier and yeah. richer and a, a, yeah. a much more satisfying film experience. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. Um, and. I've, the the complaints I've seen about this film are stuff that we had talked about before of what we thought this film was going to be. The people mm. that are disappointed that I found with this film, because I looked up some reviews after I, I saw it, and yeah. people want Bahu Bali. And I'm like, it was clear <laughs> from the trailer, it yeah. was, this is not going to be a big a- action every five seconds film this is no. what I, we thought it was going to be this is exactly lord of the rings game of thrones it's yep. mostly about the story it's actually very game of thrones really because obviously of, of, of what's going on but it's mostly just about these characters and what they're doing and the shenanigans going on between characters and there's very little action going and there's some good action towards the end and, yeah and, and, oh, and there's great some stuff, action there's stuff like that but um that is if you're going in for this you're going to hate it. You're going to hate this film uh, because you want to go into this film and sit there and experience this story that the, the whoever the, the uh, Kul- Kulki, right, is the original mm-hmm. uh, author they created yeah. and Monty Rottenham has created in the film in this whole set of uh, this world. It is just wonderful. It is captivating. It is um, just and you're, you're just engrossed in what the story is. And I'm I'm sad, and, but I'm also happy. I didn't know the story because then mm. stuff got to be kind of surprised uh to me but also i'm like 
mm, I kind of want to read it all before the next one. <laughs> right. I know. Uh, and I, uh, what do you I, I'd really like to know the diehards who like the stupid baby who sent me this book series who, who just adores this literature all of their life. And I, I'd really like to know how they feel it's been translated because that's going to be a completely different and very, very valid opinion because they have a completely different yeah. set of standards that they're going from. But for those of us who are not only novices to the story and the books, but also still very, very young and green in our understanding of Indian culture and South Indian culture. I, I just, I, I freaking thought it was fantastic. Yeah. It, uh, it was really good. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. Um, so let's just get into the, uh, the nitty gritty here. I thought, uh, let's start with the performances, man. Um, these ladies, like I, everybody was pretty good, like really good. There's yep. like one character that I didn't care for and I'll get into that later. Okay. Uh, but man, when like Ashwarya, when um, I I'm, I'm, I need to know their names here. Sorry. Um, tr is there is it tr Trisha? Yeah, Trisha Krishnan. Uh, and Sorbita, all and that the obviously women, Sorbita. But especially yeah. Ashwarya and uh, and uh, Trisha, I believe, is the the other main main girl. And when and you're obviously referring to Ashwarya Rai because there is also yes. the actress Ashwarya Lakshmi. Yes, right. But they were all good, but. Like when she got on, I was like, hmm, these women seem in charge. <laughs> oh, they are. That's that's the first impression. I like all these men are like doing their thing and they're they're parading yeah. around, but it's it it really seemed and I don't know because I haven't read the books, it really seemed that these women were the ones that were actually the one pulling the strings and, and doing everything. They Ash Ashwarya has never one looked better. She looks absolutely Freaking gorgeous. gorgeous! But this is one of her best performances, I think. She, I agree. Just, she drenched in power. Absolutely it was did everywhere. And and she did exactly what you need, and came from the the the. You know, if you want to, one of the most prof we talk about it all the time. One of the most important things you can do as an actor on film, and it's especially important with this kind of a role, is understand the power and stillness. Mm -hmm. And she is clearly aware with her experience as an actress um, of how to captivate you. And just that shot, they used it in the trailer, as you know, they should. There's that one shot of her where she's standing almost kind of three quarters and and the camera's just slowly. It was from her. And it's it's just it's, it's a slow pull. And. I, I thought the cast uniformly was yeah. really, really good. I would give special nods like you to all of the women. I felt like all of the women were exceptional because they also had exceptional characters to play. Yeah, uh, But I also, uh, I thought um, uh, Carthy, who I think was probably, he was basically our lead in this because he was the one that we, f we f uh, followed most part, right? Right. Uh, in, in his journey. But I thought he did really well. I, he kind of had this swagger about him. He uh, was, but he also had good presence, good comedic timing. Uh, I, I liked him a lot, as well as Me Vikram, too. who has great screen presence. And he's really, great. you could, you, you, like, you're like, oh, I believe that he's conquered and, and just killed a whole bunch of people. Like, and, exactly. like, he's a person to be feared. I thought they both did really, really well. What do you think about them? Yeah, I did too. Uh, I, I really, I'm interested to see which of the characters you weren't particularly fond of, because for me, there wasn't anybody that I wasn't connected with. This is absolutely giving no spoilers away. And I, I think it would be obvious when you're talking about an epic novel. This is an ensemble. Oh, piece. yeah. Uh, it's just, and that was, that's the one um, drawback, I would say, for pretty much anybody and it isn't just me it was also for my indian wife who's bengali she also you know she doesn't speak tamil she's not as familiar with the south region as south indians would be it was hard worth the effort but it was hard to keep track of every character name and every location because it, the, the, one of the hardest parts was when you see the spelling of the name in tamil there's no real English translation of a word. So like you see the name spelled, but when they say the name as a standalone, you're like, that's not how that's pronounced. And it's like, well, actually, yeah, doofus, because 
there's no English way to express that, you know? So that, yeah, that was tough. <laughs> that was one of the, the, the things that people were telling, like, um, well, after people had seen it and we were saying we were going today and, and they were like, good luck keeping up with all the names. So here's the thing. I, I'm terrible with names in real life. Okay. Like right, just, right. I've worked with people for years and not known their name because after a while you can't ask anymore. And so I'm just like, Hey, what's right. up, man? Hey, hey, how you hey, doing, hey, doing, bro? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's it's the terrible thing that uh, I do because it's just ADD, I think. It's just I can't keep track. So Indian films, it's kind of the same thing. I was like, I know this character. I know this face. Right, right. I don't, I, I, unless it's like Shah Rukh Khan's name is Raj. I probably right. don't know most people in most Indian <laughs> films' names. I'm just going to be yeah. honest with you guys. I'm just like, I know that character. I know them. I, can't, I never keep track of their names almost ever. I'm just like, I yeah. know that character. That's who they are. I don't know their name. And so I this wasn't is really especially hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. really trying to keep track of names. I was just like, I recognize the faces. I was like, okay, okay. This is him. This is him. This is him. This is him. But there, this is, there's a lot. This almost could have been, and I almost wish it was like game of Thrones series, a 10 episode, <sighs> 10 hour series, because I feel like even though it's three hours, it kind of flew by for me. I thought it, it was a pacing was really, really good. Pacing's uh, great. But, like, I know that there's so much more information that they probably could have brought out and it helped us um, um, sympathize or, or, or uh, uh, grow to care for certain characters more in certain yeah. episodes because there's so much. But obviously, they need the money, they need the box office, and so they need it in certain ways. But I'm glad they did it in two films, at least, uh, yeah. because I'm sure there's so much information. Oh, my stars, yes. And, I mean, there's, there's, there's – I'm looking at five books over here. And I'm sure, I mean, I could be wrong. That's something I'd love to, if we were, if we got the opportunity to interview Monty Rottenham, I would, I would want to ask him that right out the gate is, was that ever a consideration? And I talked about that with Indrani as well afterwards and thought, you know, obviously this would work story-wise probably better as an extended series like a Game of Thrones or a Lord yeah. of the Rings. However, you lose the majesty of the cinematic experience in a theater. And I'm, uh, I'll take that experience and sacrifice maybe the fact that we missed out on some of the story. And I bet Monty Rotten would say, if you want the deeper details, read the book. Yeah. Uh, Cause this, this movie, if there's a movie that deserves big screen attention, this I, is, this is brave heart. This is gladiator. And this I wish is, we would have gotten an IMAX, man. It would have been I so know. beautiful next. Cause I, I'm so happy he filmed both films at the same time. So we get it next summer is the yeah. sequel to this. I really want to just, if, even if it's playing, it was only a one theater in IMAX here. I think next time we're going to make the trek out if it's at the same theater. Uh, yeah. Agreed. Uh, Cause I think this is one that's, it's worthy of, of seeing because of the beauty uh, of, of the sets they created. Right. Um, and yeah, yeah. And that's what I wanted to say is a, aside from the obvious genius direction and cinematography and the, the solid cast, major, major, major shout out to production design, costuming, all the set decorating, all of the fluidness between practical effect and visual effect. There were times yeah. where uh, you couldn't tell what was green screened and what was set pieces. It was yeah. just flawlessly in, in, yeah. interrelated. Yeah, there were um, probably a handful, I'd say, of certain CGI moments that you could tell they decide. Yeah, and like I said, don't go in this for the action. Okay, That's, no, do, I, there is some good action. I'm not. There is some good action, absolutely, but do not expect R. Do not expect Bahubali. Do not expect anything like that. Uh, no. Just those are little sprinkles. But there, are, like at certain times, there are certain moments that like. Clearly, they're spending their money on set pieces and and beautiful costuming, as opposed to they're like, ah, we'll we'll not spend this money on this VFX portion. We're going to spend it every because we care more about the story than the overall thing. But there are those certain moments that you're like, yeah, I could see that CGI there easily. Uh, but and don't don't go in before for the we, CGI. I agree. I agree. It's like when you watch Game of Thrones, and especially while you're watching Dragons right now. Uh, the free, you know, the first season of Thrones, you're, you're going to get story. You're going to get character, which is what we had hoped for. And what I think you would expect if you know Monty Rottenham's films, Yeah, uh, he, he's going to, he's a storyteller. He's, he's yeah. not going to be focused on action. And what, before we get into spoilers, one last big shout out is, uh, how about A.R. Rahman? Uh, you know, I want to talk about that. They shortened all the songs and that pisses me off. 
Yeah, and I understand why we got the songs the way we did so we could hear them all, but we never got all of the songs in their totality. It pissed me off. Yeah, that's a little bit of a spoiler for you guys. You don't get all of the songs in their totality, so sorry if that's getting into spoiler territory. We reacted, I think, to most of them, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool, we're going to get, like, it's going to go on for five to ten minutes of this. And (laughs) they cut it off, and I was like, why? Well, I'm sure Monty Rotten was like, it's one of yeah, his I'm best sure he, scores. I'm, I'm sure he, it was. The whole, the score is gorgeous, and it's a perfect example of how not to overscore a film. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sure it, it was, hey, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's money. The songs are gorgeous. We're going to do standalone releases of the songs so people can hear the whole thing, but I've got a novel to tell, and I don't want this to run four and a half hours. So, Yeah, but they were all <laughs> so good, and it's just I was uh, the, the thing I was upset about is how short it they were um yeah. and uh like i said i i'd say if <laughs> i really enjoyed this film like you said i think it's i without even thinking about it i could probably make this in the top three indian films of the year already agreed right? agreed um rrr if you're going for entertainment go for that one uh, that's still the best if, if you're if you're going for just you like you this is i think equally as good of a film that's just a different style of film, right? That's just that's mm-hmm. pure entertainment. Balls it's a very different action. style, is all. This yeah. is just as good a film, just in a very different way. Um, yep. And it it the set design was gorgeous. The the music was gorgeous. The acting was great. Um, yep. And so I go in just to be experience the story, and that's all. You, that's all you want to do, okay? Yeah. Just yeah. be engrossed in this story, and I think you're going to enjoy yourself. And be in and just enjoy being submerged because you do believe these people are who they are and you're in this time frame and marvel at the gift. There are some directors that are very, very good and there's some that are tremendously gifted. Mani Ratnam is a yeah. master director, yeah. master director. Yeah. Uh, I hope this does really well. Who knows uh, how to do, but I'm so glad he did both at the same time. So you don't have to wait years Me for too. the, I, I think it's somebody said it's coming out June of next year, right? Or, or something yeah. like that, which is great. Uh, we yeah. only have to wait just uh, less than a year, which is awesome. Uh, yeah. But yeah, let us, uh, if you haven't seen it, please go watch it already. Uh, we're going to get into some spoils, spoils uh, right signs. now. Uh, the, the one character I did not, he wasn't awful, but he was my least favorite was, the friend of um, Arthi. The, the, Our messenger the, spy friend? Yeah, the, the big I fat guy. I loved him. No, he, uh, he was, uh, like, he was the most, like, everybody else was, like, normal grounded, right? And then he was that one. He was, he's, like, the what often happens in Indian films, but with the mom that I, that I don't like. He's the big over-the-top one. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let me make sure I'm thinking about this. You're talking about because character names and actors I'm going to destroy. He's big and he's uh, fat. He has the hair on, a, on the side of his head. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. He's the one who was like the student and the devotee of Shiva. Yeah. Who was talking to. Gotcha. Yes. He brought, I'm he sorry. brought a lot of the comedy uh, yeah. to it. He just it was my least favorite. I know who you're talking about. I, I liked him. Oh, you I, like I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that was my least favorite uh, of it. What do you think? And, and maybe they, it knows in the in the book, right? Obviously, I'm sure right. it gives it away. Ashwarya Rai is a mermaid. Like, what is? I know. <laughs> what I know. Is, what is I happening with that? I don't know, and I love <laughs> that I don't know. It was one of the weirdest moments of it, where I'm like, okay, and then it just that's the end, and I thought, well, what is she? What the heck is going on? Yeah, I have no, I have zero thought about it, and that's why I was like, Agreed. I'm so con- conflicted because I like learning stuff in films, but also I'm like, there's probably so much more that you could appreciate if you knew the book. Yeah, uh, about uh, yeah. it. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, then you give away exactly what's happening in, uh, in the book if before right. you watch the second film. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what to do there. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm pretty excited about watching it uh was there some other stuff you wanted to talk about in spoils um yeah i wanted to talk about i think it's is it vikram or is it um i think it's vikram who has the character names and the characters vikram is the one that was in love with ashwarya exactly it is vikram the moment um 
I I loved both the way he delivered this and the way Mani Ratnam shot it mm-hmm. when he had his monologue about the first and second time he dies and what that was before like. in, before intermission before the interview yeah. yeah and he's standing on look overlooking the sea and and he's telling you in a very Shakespearean way about that moment and I loved the way they revealed that uh, in two different segments of the the shot and he busts open the door and there she is tending to his enemy and he just jumps up on the bed and and the blood goes right behind her but particularly his performance in presenting that monologue and the way Monty Rottenham shot him I that's one of my favorite moments in the film yeah I that was a great moment and there was so much about what Monty and his uh, cinematographer, who I think is a uh, like a they uh, they've worked together for years, yeah. I believe. Yeah, uh, Ravi Varman. Uh, yeah, there Ravi Varman. Yeah, so many interesting shots in this film, and how they decided to like. There's one they started from almost the butt cheek of a, the horse. Yeah, remember that? Remember I that do. shot? And then they yes, kind of I came do. around to uh, reveal the character. Yeah, and I was like. I don't even know how you think of that, but that was beautiful. I loved it. And a lot of really beautiful overhead shots, mm-hmm. really pretty overhead shots that were both just for the aesthetic, but also gave you the idea that the gods were watching what's going on. And I also really enjoyed, I enjoyed how Carthy's character, every beautiful woman he saw, my life is yours. You are the yeah. most beautiful jewel. Your wish is my command. Every, I turned to Andrani at one point. I went, it's my dad. My, <laughs> any, you want to make my dad happy, put a pretty girl around him. And he goes like this. <laughs> but he did it well because I was like, I believe, Very well. I believe his, uh, he, he has game. He's like, and I believe that like, like when that moment when he, uh, Ashwarya, the whole scene with him and Ashwari was great. I lo- great scene. Basically, yeah. every single scene with Ashwari was absolutely a masterclass in acting. Because uh, yeah. she, she, even though everybody she's was so a standout, good. she was so a standout. She's so, so good. And so was the other female as well uh, in this. But like when she was sending him away through the secret passage and he, they were kind of flirting almost through the wall. Uh, <laughs> I love that moment. Yeah. I uh, love that moment as the door is closing. Yeah. Yeah. It was love really, that moment. And then you figured out that um, you know who who is she double crossing? Right, I exactly. St- I still don't know whose side she's on. I, that's exactly <laughs> what Andrani and I were talking about in the car. I'm like, okay, so it was very clear about the cholas and and what was going on. And I think, I think what she's doing because she is the queen of the king, who's the enemy of the people. But she was clearly one of the cholas, and I think. She's conspiring to make sure that they lose. But then there was another moment in the film where I'm like, is she doing that? I still think she is. I think that's what we're seeing when she's in the water. I think she's there somehow, some way. Yeah, I don't, I have no clue what the mermaid ashore is. Yeah, I don't. But when we talk about the action sequences, the the one that is the the last sequence we'll talk about for sure. I thought it was great. Yeah, that's where they spent their money. But the Saving Private Ryan Normandy beach scene. Oh, yeah. It was small, but man, did you get banged for your buck, especially the final pullout shot where you see the scope of the battle that had happened on the shore. Yeah. I loved that sequence. Yeah. That what they did, like like the, bat, like the, the beginning battle sequence, that yeah. battle sequence. Great start. The, the end battle sequence, right? They yeah. they did spend their money uh, well on those battle sequences. Uh, it's basically everything in between those that they probably didn't spend as much on. Even though I thought mm-hmm. there was some really good kills, like when that person just got drenched with arrows. The arrows <laughs> in the chest? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just drenched. I loved it. Yep. Uh, so, like, that, that would be, like, the biggest flaw with the film is that sometimes there's CGI that is obvious. But they yeah. just clearly decided that they were going to spend their money elsewhere. Yeah, it's um, totally because forgivable. Yeah, um, and obviously, um, who who knows what? I'm assuming the second one will probably be the same because they filmed it at the exact same time. Yeah, um, and so now they're just doing post on it, right? It just I would think that's all they're working on now is the the post and the digital effects and yeah, it it, it was the the little spots 
it wasn't a matter of straining credulity and it not looking believable. It all looked believable, but those little moments, it was typically with some of the uses of small fire, like the fire in the hand they were all holding. Yeah. And then there was one point where someone's coming up the bridge in a beautiful shot and I could tell that the night torches along the bridge actually had had the, the light put in in post. Yeah. But again, or like when, or very like when, forgivable. When somebody jumped off something, you could tell that it they were, they were on a wire and they on CGI'd wire. them down. Uh, it's essentially, and so there's there's things like that that were obviously there. But if you're going in for that, you're just going to be incredibly disappointed. Go in for the story, and enjoy. Yeah. It. Well, he, you're. Already, he, yeah, I hope you're not already here if you haven't seen it. <laughs> exactly. And I, I would I would watch this again. Like uh, I don't know if I if you remember in in theater class, and it may not have been in the theater class per se. It may have been in film appreciation. One of my favorite things to do was to show how Kevin Costner uses editing to control the emotion of the the moment in in open range and how the opening sequences when they're on the range, he lets at least 10 seconds go by between each edit. But then when they go into the town, in order for you to feel the speed of the town quicken up, he does edits every like three seconds. And it's a very intentional director's design to make you as an audience member feel the agitation of city life versus country life. And yep. this is all over the place with money like as they're coming down the hall he doesn't just shoot that stationary at the end of the hall as they're running he has the cinematographer with a steady cam or they actually had it on tracks i think it was steady cam because they show the floor going backwards as they're running in and then he does the exact opposite when he wants the stillness and majesty of a shwari arise queen yeah he doesn't do anything rapid with her everything is very regal and then obviously he goes speeds up the frames per second on the battle sequences and then he he does an aerial shot that's more majestic when he's coming down on a village versus one that's moving faster in a battle sequence it, it's just yeah uh, you could watch this just to sit there and marvel at the direction and cinematography alone yeah easily yeah and that's why i really wish it's uh, they didn't have any imaxes here where i'm in in, in san antonio texas um, and they had one in Los Angeles. So if they have one yep. in Los Angeles, it's very, they did not put it on a lot of IMAX screens, which is unfortunate. It definitely deserved yeah. to be seen in IMAX. Deserved so, to be seen in IMAX. So hopefully the next one that, since, since there's going to be a lot more hype for it, that yeah. they'll, they'll be releasing more. But even if it's not, and if we're both in Los Angeles, I think we might make the trek down to see the IMAX. Cause I think. I, it, I would like that. I think it would be worth it uh, for, I, I for, for the I style of film. Um, and but, anyways, the fantastic film. I'm very, very glad. Uh, in it. I, I think it's good that we saw Vikram Veda first, even though I enjoyed that. I know you didn't, but because obviously, I think you would have been even more disappointed in Vikram Veda if you saw this one first. Because <laughs> you're your correct. Ex, your expectations, My expectations would have been. been much higher. <laughs> <laughs> and so, it's probably good that we saw Vikram Veda first uh, yeah. in, in going into this one, but. Fantastic! It lived up to the hype, and I'm I'm very glad it did. Um, and I I don't know actually what big film is there's to look forward to now until Shah Rukh Khan's Pathan in in uh, July. Yeah, as far as Indian cinema, we've got some big ones obviously in American cinema because we have the Oscar season starting up. But well, there's uh, gonna be yeah. little films, but I'm talking like we no. had like throughout the year we had RR, then we had Bikram, then we had uh, Brahmastra, then we had. Uh, even ones that we didn't like, uh, certain ones, um, uh, Forrest Gump one. And so there was, yeah. there was all these little things. And now I don't know what there is between now and January. Uh, um, yeah. and I know there's going to be a bunch of films that we probably like, but they're well, probably there gonna will be smaller. Be, there's going to be, yeah, there's a lot. We've seen quite a few teasers and trailers of small things that were like, please, I hope this is available for us to see. So, yeah, but yeah, this one, this one definitely lived up to the expectation. Anyways, let us know what you thought about this film. Uh, did you like it? Didn't you like it? Are we idiots? Are we not idiots? Just let us know. Well, we yeah. are idiots. That's yeah, awesome. Dad. Let us know down in the comments. <laughs> and if you're Monty Rotno, come on the channel. So we'd love to talk to you. Please. <laughs>